Well, I started as a college professor teaching what they used to call risk management, and now it's actually called financial planning. Uh, and when I looked at Money Concepts, one of my students was running the office, and I liked it because I have a financial planning textbook, a risk management textbook, but Money Concepts had 20 pre-approved seminars by FINRA. So all I had to do was decide which month I taught which topic, and I started from there, uh, sending out 500 letters a month. Most of my clients, uh, my family had an auto parts business and we had to close down the retirement plan because we didn't have enough people and so I focused on retirement planning when I started. So trying to get people who wanted to put $50 a month or whatever, both profit and not for profit and that's how I built my practice and I have about a thousand clients putting money in every month. Because I guess my whole uh, mantra is tax avoidance is not illegal. And that's how I sell them on how to avoid paying taxes by having a payroll deduction plan or doing something outside of the payroll deduction that avoids taxes. And that's been a big part of how I get customers because if you do a good job, they tell people. Uh, and as they get older, then you work, move into retirement planning for them. But I'm in the accumulation stage first and then go to the retirement. Well, I want to become a social media compliant financial planner. And, and I tell people, they go, what is that? I says, well, that means I can do things on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. And people will respond. And that's the next generation. Uh, hashtag is, is, is Twitter. And you don't even realize that sometimes when you see it. So that's kind of where my next round is. And I'm hoping within a year, I'll be able to take all my orders on my iPad and not have to any of any paper in the office which is a big part of taking care of it. But it gets back to family. If you help people with family tax deductions, they remember that you helped them. And planning for 529s for college is a big part of that too, because everybody's got kids.